Hi Internet, it's Maggie Bot here with vlog number five. Uh, so big news today started out with a uh, pandemic legacy being spoiled from Z-Man Games. So this is Matt Leacock and Rob, I believe it's DeVoe, um, who worked on Risk Legacy, getting together and making an experiential board game. So you play a game of pandemic and during the game certain events will trigger that you open an envelope, you name a thing, you discover a disease, you cure a disease, whatever it is that you do in that game will also carry on to the next game and the games progressively change over time. So the basis for this was Risk Legacy which was a 15 game campaign and at the end of it you could still play the the final result. Um, you just basically had a custom made Risk uh, that you had named and kind of developed. So, though Pandemic has never been my game, I'm just not a co op -y person, and that's very co op -y. the legacy mechanic and evolving board games, I've been wanting to see a lot of those for a really long time. There's one other one that's being developed right now called Seafall, but they're not even planning on getting that out this year. So that's Plaid Hat Games with Chris Dupuis, and I'm not sure who the main designer is, but Chris worked on the risk legacy side so that that's helping them with the play testing because I would imagine that was a lot of you don't want to redesign the wheel you really like where you know risk legacy already kind of did the footwork for you of what you have to do to get the kinks worked out you'd kind of want to use them so those guys have literally been helping out with the next legacy series um, I'm looking forward to it. I know a lot of people say that after 15 games you are out of a board game, but I'd say if you get through 15 games and you're still wanting more, that's a win. Because there's not many games you get to 15 games of. At least, I try really hard. I get to 9 to 12 is usually my average before I peter out of a game. So, that's good. Uh, over the weekend, we got together and we played some board games. We taught Rococo, which went over really, really well. The more you teach a game, the better you do at it. Um, we played we played Vikings, and halfway through the game, so we got through the rules explanation, and I sort of like started feeling deja vu. And as soon as we started playing, I'm like, oh, crap. I played this once. I played this when I was super new to games. Because one of the first things I did in Seattle was join a bunch of meetups. And Vikings was the same night I played Giants way back when. I had no idea it was a reprint. So it's pretty cool that something came back around and I've played it. And now it's a little light for me, if anything. And before I can remember being impressed by how, how much game there was. And so I'm really happy to have played it again. I'm going to teach it to all my coworkers. I think it's going to be another big hit if Z-Man just holds out and prints enough of them. And the last thing, and this is a little negative, but we played Seven Sisters, which is a Kickstarter game from a couple, like I think two years ago, and it was pretty darn bad. The gameplay was whole hum and the art was absolutely atrocious. I'm sorry that to the artist. I'm sure they have talent in something, but this was not their time. This was so bad, and just the collarbones alone in that game are just ridiculous. So for the first maybe 10 to 15 minutes, we, we had some entertainment value and kind of joking and laughing around. And then getting to the 45th minute of the game where you're really hoping it's just going to end soon and the all the joking had kind of died out. That is not a game I would recommend picking up. So you can probably leave that on the shelf. Um, give it a go. Maybe you'll like it better than we did, but oh boy. And the last thing this week, uh, we got um, one of my Kickstarter rewards came in. So that is a book called Board Games That Tell Stories. And this is a collection of designer diaries and blog entries and little stories about cool games and how they came to be. And this is some of the more interesting stuff for me. I don't really care about a theme in a game, but if I can find a little background story to how it got produced or something that happened along its path, those are really some of my favorite things. And it also came with the 51st State wow, prototype card and, oh, and a little picture of some cows that are 
they're very cute and funny. So <laughs> that was that was really nice to see. Um, I also got ooh, from Zazzle, which is like the worst name for a company, but this is a bunch of board game designers in a word cloud on a sweatshirt. But I think it's adorable and really fun and it's really comfy. So they were having a sale, so I bought one of these. <laughs> uh, so I've been wearing it in like 70,000 degree weather. <sighs> one day it'll be winter again and I can just wear this and be happy. That's all for now, guys. I will see you again here soon. Bye.